Hey guys, it's MJ, the student tech tree, and in this video, I want to talk about Mercedes and who's going to be their new driver for their Formula One team in 2017. For those of you who don't know, Rosberg made a big announcement that he's going to be retiring from the sport after he won the World Championship this year. Now, I'm not going to lie, I didn't like Rosberg. I don't think he's better than Lewis Hamilton, and I'm not going to be that sad to see him go. In fact, I'm actually quite excited because it's going to be really cool to see who is going to be racing alongside Lewis Hamilton in 2017. Now, some fun facts. The Mercedes car has been an absolute beast. I think out of the last 59 races, it's 151 of those. Look, there are going to be some rule changes for 2017, so I don't know if that domination is going to continue, but they're definitely taking in that winning momentum, and there's going to be a lot of drivers who are going to be willing to drive for this amazing car. So what I've done is I've put my statistician hat on and I have estimated some probabilities of various drivers becoming the new driver for Mercedes in 2017. And what I've done is I've given 5% to Sebastian Vettel. Now, I love Sebastian Vettel. He's probably the best driver on the grid. He's four times world champion. He's only, I think, 29 years of age. But bit very important is that he is German and the Mercedes team is German, there's some good alignment there, and I think he would be the best replacement for Nico Rosberg. However, he is under contract with Ferrari, and I think that's going to be dampening his chances quite considerably. Next up is a guy called Valtteri Bottas. I don't really like Valtteri Bottas, you know, he hasn't really done anything that exciting. Uh, what he has got going for, it, for him is that he is Finnish, Nico Rosberg's, I think, father was Finnish, but, you know, Botas has never finished first. Sorry, that, that's a terrible joke. Um, getting back to the stats, Botas is age 27. He's basically raced with Williams his whole life. And the only reason why I've given him 15% is that Mika Silo, um, who was an old Formula One driver, and a lot of people who know Formula One have said that he's most likely to go to Mercedes. And so what I'm doing is I am taking their opinion into account and I'm assigning him a 15% chance of becoming the driver for 2017. Now the next guy is a bit of a media favorite. The media think that Alonso is going to become the next driver. Um, they're like, oh, Alonso in pole position to become the new Mercedes driver. And I mean, it makes sense. He's two times world champion. He's, you know, he's very, very quick. He's one of the best drivers out there. The problem, though, is that he's 35 years old, so that's quite old for a Formula 1 driver. He has quite a complicated history with Hamilton, especially when they were racing together in McLaren. And also, he is signed up with uh, McLaren Honda, and they're saying like a 25 million pound clause if they want to buy him out. So for those reasons, I've only given him a 25% chance just because I think it would be absolute madness to spend 25 million pounds to get him out of the contract. Which then leads me to who I think is the most likely person to become the next Mercedes driver. And that is a guy called Pascal Verlein. Now the reason I'm saying he's the most likely person to become the, the next driver is because he's already employed by Mercedes. As you can see, he's got the little Mercedes overalls on. He is their test driver. And he almost replaced Hamilton in Monaco when there was all that drama going on. And he's proven this year that he's very fast. Plus, he's German as well, which has got you know, the good connections with Mercedes. Now, some people might say, oh, he's inexperienced or he's too young. He's only 22 years old. But if anything, Max Verstappen has shown us this season that age is nothing but a number. Now, for those of you who have been doing your calculations, you would have seen that I have left out 5%. You add up all my numbers, we get to 95. So what is this other 5%? This is the, the unknown 5%. And I mean, this could be, because let's admit, anyone can actually be the next Mercedes driver. But I think the most likely out of the, you know, the wild cards would maybe be Jensen Button. He doesn't have a draft for next year. However, he is 36 years old and he has announced that he's going to retire. So very small possibility for him. Then there's this guy called Ocon, who is incredibly quick. As you can see, he also has alignment with Mercedes. However, he has signed a contract to force India. And then 
there could be Nico Rosberg. I mean, sorry, Nico Hulkenberg. I love Hulkenberg. I think Hulkenberg is incredible. I really thought he should have moved to Ferrari because he's brilliant. However, he has moved up to uh, Renault. And I don't know, Formula One don't seem to appreciate the talent and skill that this guy has. I really think he's great. And it would be really awesome to see him in a top team. But I mean, it could be anyone. And this is where I want to ask you guys, who do you think is going to be the next Mercedes driver? For all we know, it could even be a brand new face. Some kid coming out of, say, GP2 or some other series and, you know, giving all the current Formula 1 drivers a run for their money. Anyway, that's all I have time for. What I do want to do is just tell you guys about my brother's YouTube channel. So my brother also loves Formula 1. He's actually got the... He's taken the A1 GP cars and he's upgraded them. They're basically the Ferrari car from F from, yeah, from 2004, the one that Schumacher was dominating in. And he's got a YouTube channel where he's showing off the cars. They're ra racing around the track. It looks pretty cool. Um, there's a picture of the two of us. The cars are absolutely stunning. So I'll put a link in the des description below. So go check out his channel. But otherwise, uh, thanks so much for watching. And yeah, let me know who you think is going to be the new Mercedes driver. Cheers, guys.